special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons. Sam Medina, Lucky Charms, Matthew Hall, Anik D, Charlene Kelly, Blabia Cookie, Madlo, Yushika Bay, and Rick Hemingway for your amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Simonist and I, War of the Walkers mods. So apparently, uh, since my last series on this one, back in Alpha 20 Season 4, uh, I think there was a first season for War of the Walkers. Um, yeah, apparently there's been an update since then. Uh, you can actually see four months ago there's been an update. So yeah, we're going to be checking this out, seeing how this has changed or not. Guys, for now, I'm going to be trying this first week to only have three episodes of this. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see how popular it is as well. At the moment, I want to try and get away from the 14 episodes a week and try and do the seven and then do more effort in the seven. And then I can also focus on more streams and stuff because then I don't have to uh, worry about recording 14 episodes, editing, uploading, all that stuff. But yeah, we're going to do a new game over here. We're going to do War of the, uh, game name, War of the Walkers Season 2. War of the Walkers Season 2. Um, there is now a War of the Walkers Lodge pre-gen 1. Medium pre-gen 1. And then there's a new, no CP. This is no fancy new buildings and no fancy new buildings. So I'm thinking go, I'm going to go for the medium over here. Uh, I don't know how big the series is going to be because I don't know when Alpha 21 is going to drop. So for now, we're going to be going for the medium one pre-gen. Um, yeah, it's eight, uh, the 8x8 eight eight map. We're going to be going for worry difficulty, 60 minute days. Uh, let's see, day speed. Let's just first see how it has changed. So we'll do it like this. Um, yeah, let's put f uh, ferals on sprint still. So, uh, so the first two is fine. Feral zombies, there's something wrong with them. They sprint. Blood moon, nightmare. When I do normal, 100%. The 50% was my darkness fall series. 64 blood moon spawn. Can't get any higher than this. And that should be it. I should probably try and do uh, feral sense on again. You guys, feral sense on. Especially when the zombies run and stuff. You can barely get anything done and they'll re on top of you. Okay, I just quickly want to allow access. For those of you wondering, I'm still in my, uh, my cousin's house at the moment. So I'm recording this at my cousin's house. Um, and the second monitor that I have to use for my recording software and all that to make sure it's still running, it's a 4K 60-inch TV. And unfortunately, because of that, it also causes lag on my computer because it seems my GPU can't handle the size of it. So if there's a little bit of lag in game, guys, um, from episode four, five, six, thereabouts, it should start getting better because then I should be at home already. I, I have no idea when they're coming back because they might extend at any time, but yeah. I'm actually hoping that this place is still in the game. The last series, I couldn't find any of these special POIs. Um, I think when I played that series, or that last series, the prefabs, the, the awesome combo packs and stuff were taken out. Um, so we might now get way better buildings as well. I can't wait to try this right now. Come on. Guys, if I, re if I see that the seven videos a week are just not getting enough views altogether, then I might just do 14 again from next year. But 14 episodes a week, it really takes a lot out of you. Okay, now... To make this series a little bit harder. 15 slot tool belt. Nice, that's awesome. Uh, thank you for playing. A big thanks to Cer uh, Cerulean for providing the SMX UI mod with the many UI improvements. Dragzi for providing the models for all the boats and their hind helicopter. Ooh. And to Budabia for the vehicles uh, from Budab's um, uh, vehicles. Thanks for Kane for providing me with the 15 slot toolbar. And for the NPC mod team, for all the NPCs and zombies of the mod, a huge thank you to the community who have supported me. Okay, so we're going to do the starter stuff. Apparently it's been shortened as a... Oh, there seems to be a cool building over here, and there seems to be a forest biome over there. But I'm actually wanting to go to the desert over there. I want to make this a desert series. It all depends. Okay, let, let's just do this. We're going to do the quest quickly. If the trader sends us there, uh, for the trader quest, we'll quickly go there. But as soon as I can, I want to move to the desert over here. I want to just mark that on the map. So I want to go live in the desert, at, like from the start of the series. Like a cowboy series. <laughs> okay, so um, this one over here, we have to put down, right? Oh, no, just left click. Left click it, click it you get some resources to use. I'm going to put all of this stuff over here for now, since we are not, we don't have that much space to work with in the first place. Uh, we can actually sell this. 
I was about to say we should actually use it, but we can actually sell that and we're going to be able to use some stuff over there. So craft the bedroll. Just quickly run through all of these starter quests over here. And okay, trader. Yeah, it's going to be this way. I'm going to leave the bedroll here because in case I die, I want to go that way anyways. I should probably for now... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I need to remember, guys, from the start this time. If we see any awesome resources and stuff, go for it. Even if it takes a while to break, it's really going to be worthwhile. For example, this is going to give us some resources. And then there's also massive resource piles that they're super, super worth it. They give you like um, hidden ores and that, yeah, that, 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 that. The pointed, um, the resource mounds, go for them. You get so, you get basically all the resources you need early, early, early game. If I can get a ton of those early game, we're going to be set for a while. Last series, I only figured that out. A lot of you guys said, go for those resources, go for the resources. I couldn't understand why. And as soon as I did, I was like, oh, wow, we have to stock up on these as much as possible. Okay, uh, we need a... What is this? Cosmetic. Okay, we can actually sell all that stuff. I want to make myself... Ooh, stone pickaxe. A stone axe. And with that stone axe, we're going to go and quickly break this open. Make sure I don't accidentally step in the... Spikes over here. Ooh, the swinging is very slow. Come on, come on, come on. These boxes are really awesome early on because they give you a ton of ammo, loot, uh, guns, and all that stuff. And then also, I should probably go for this for the honey. And like I said, guys, the resources in those pointed mounds, I should actually mark it. Every time I come across one, mark it. And then in the future, we'll know exactly where it is. All these, there's so many of these pillars. If I just explore a little bit more to that direction, we're going to see more pillars. You know, honey, unfortunately. I want to quickly mark that. I don't want to go all the way there. I'm going to waste stamina. I think that's... No, that's the point mount. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. That's another one of the... Okay, we have to go this way. That's another one of these pillars of here. But these ones, I'm going to wait until we have the uh, proper tools to be able to break these. So for now, all I'm going to do is mark them on the map, and then we know where they are. Oh, wait. Um... Okay, so th that's what they look like on the map. There's no real reason for me to mark it then. But guys, you can get so much resources from this stuff. It is amazing. So there's, the moment we can, I want to try and see if we can't get as much as that from, uh, from that as possible. Small weapon supply crate. Remember, at the moment, our game stage and loot stage and everything is super low. So the gear we're getting is not that great. Although, I could argue that was some really good loot just now. Now I already have a gun that can fire the one shot at a time. It's one shot at a time, but we can get some really awesome loot from this. Um, let's just do this. I'm going to check all my skills and stuff again when we get to the trade out for now. I just want to see what this is. But like I said, I do want to go and live in the desert, guys, because I want to make this a desert series. Uh, you know how some people have, like, the Road Warrior and, like, Glock, um, Glock 9 also has a series where he goes and lives in a church and stuff. Basically, I want to make a kind of series like that. Where we stay, uh, stick to one biome and that's it. Ooh, hello. Okay, so we have already a pipe crystal for ourselves. I need to make sure that when we see stuff on the map, I wonder. You see how this is a pit around it, right? I wonder if we can loot it and then break it. Ooh, there's so many of these awesome resource ones. Pillar, pillar, pillar. We didn't get that pillar over there. We need to make sure that as soon as we can, we go on the map and go for them. But I want to make sure that there's a way we can mark them by changing to the terrain. Basically, I don't want to make, uh, make mini-map markers and stuff because it's going to take up way too much space. But if I can go and, for example, break the pillar and it doesn't show on the map that there's a pillar anymore, that might actually work. Ooh. This is the trader that we had in the Wasteland in the last series. Where we actually lost one, we lost one of our NPCs that we hired. And it turns out she was there the whole time. Oh. Okay, if that pig turned to me, I could have actually gotten some meat. Is that a zombie? I need to turn, I need to turn, I need to turn. Now that's NPC already. Ha ha ha. Okay, I should probably see if I can't get myself some meat. Oh yeah, there are already zombies spawning in, so I need to be careful. I'm looking for some gold blocks on the floor because you might be able to get some bones from that. Um, hopefully I can get five bones from this small dude. Two bones. Come on, I need more bones. I need a bone shiv. Two bones. Ah, that's it, right? Only four bones. I need to be careful not to get too encumbered. Whoops. There's a little bit of a lag in the game. I don't know if it's just my imagination or if there is really one. 
Ooh, I arranged this early on. Okay, this is so far, so re it's really, really great. Uh, but I do need a gore block. So if I can kill one more bunny, that might be able to give me the bone shiv. And then as soon as we can, we have to go for all the pillars, all the resources. But I'm hoping we get like an iron pick or a steel pick as soon as possible. If I can make sure that we can get one of those, we'll be able to go and break those resource mounds from early on. And then sell most of this as well. There's a piggy. Damn it. He's too far away and I don't have a scope on, so it's not that easy to aim. Okay, there's a zombie. To make sure that I don't accidentally call something to myself. It seems this town is a very small town. Wreck the zombie. Yeah, this is only a very small western town. Technically, if this wasn't in the uh, uh, forest over here, I could actually live here. Because then this would be like a cowboy t uh, town, cowboy story. But I'm definitely going to go live in the desert, even if it's like a proper, proper town. I'm going to try and go live in the desert and see if we can get some stuff done there. Come on, give me a bone. Give me a bone. Ooh, nice. Some white meat over there. Why is it not giving me any bones? Are oh, you telling me it's just meat and fat and skin? Wow, that pig didn't have any bones inside. It was jelly. Okay, if I can just find myself a gore block. It's like, uh, for those who don't know, <laughs> that don't know, it's almost like uh, roadkill. If I can find the roadkill in the road, I can actually take the bones from that and make myself a bone shiv. Double tap E. Oh, I'm hoping this isn't like Where's UK, where there's like dogs and stuff inside. Already, guys, we're doing way, way better. This is, I can definitely see there has been massive updates because last time, uh, we, yeah, we didn't have this much stuff early on and now at least we know the mod. So I expect great things from the series. Remember, if you like what you're seeing so far, smash that like button, leave a comment, share with your friends, and if you haven't done so already, so remember to subscribe. To I, get lonely sitting by myself I wonder, is this place repair kit for tools? Oh yeah, they have special repair kits as well. Damn, that's a shame. Ooh, hello. Mailboxes. Yeah, it's a 3x3. Three three. That one, that one, and that one is one box. So everywhere you see these thick lines se that separates the looting boxes. It looks like there's so much to loot, but there isn't really that much. I'm getting so many perk books. This is awesome. So far, I'm really digging this. Okay, you are who? Trader J. Yeah, see your inventory. You sell. Okay, you're like the scout. 13,000, you can give me 125,000 XP so we can level up really fast. This is actually a nice way to level, uh, level up early on. But now, though, I should probably read as much as I can and then try and sell stuff. We don't have any coin right now. Can we sell to you? Yeah, we can sell to you as well. Rock heater, cosmetic. I want to sell all cosmetic stuff for now because I'm not going to use it. And then... You can only read one of these. So the rest you can actually go and scrap. So far we have a nice amount of perk books. That's insane. How much coin do we have? 2.9. If I can get one of those mounds, those resource mounds that I was showing you guys earlier, if I can get that and sell that stuff, we might be able to go and buy ourselves stuff really early on. If I can buy that 125,000 XP, guys, do you know how many levels that is early game? And those levels equate to skill points you can spend and help yourself. I'm just hoping early, early on, we actually get ourselves like a proper tool so I can go destroy those uh, loot boxes. What is this? Toilet paper. You need assistance. Hey, tradable. You look fancy. Okay, so there's nothing else I can sell right now. 4.9 already. I have to say, when are they reset day two? So then she's gonna lose that 125,000 XP. If this dude sells the ammo, he's not the main trader. Thanks Let's just quickly go and try and read these. Be careful out there. Otherwise, I'm accidentally gonna go and spend a needle and thread. Better shoes. Winter is coming, so if that's for a coat. Beyond to 6, 50% chance to slow the target for 8 seconds. Beyond to 4, use these simple tricks. Increase projectile speed and range. Needle and thread, make pants. Speed onto 2, uh, spears degrade 20% slower. Ranger's guide, after archery, shots to leg arrows will slow down the opponents. Needle and thread, beat the heat. Okay, so we can make tank top shirts and stuff. Ranger's guide, volume 1. Uh, learn the trick to safely remove 20% more arrows and bolts. Yes. Oh, that's going to help early on. If I can remove arrows and bolts and stuff from zombies, we'll be able to go 
and uh, kill more of them and not worry too much about our stuff. I'm guessing this is to not make the zombies move, uh, the uh, NPCs move around. For those who don't know, like for example in Darkest Falls, the NPCs, the traders, keep sliding around the rocks. They're not supposed to, but they do. Can I get in there? Oh, hello. Please, I need more books. This is amazing, guys. So far, just with these awesome buildings, this is definitely a combat pack building. So my previous series was definitely without the combat packs. And now there's these special buildings in this series. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm really hoping the trader in the uh, desert is going to be just as worth it. Because this is we're going to be talking to this trader only once and then we're going to go back. I want to definitely just go live in the, uh, the desert. Even though it's going to be hot early on, we have to be careful and stuff. It is going to be a nice series if you have to uh, fight off coyotes and stuff early game. Close that down. This leads outside. Can I actually buy myself? Please tell me you have a mining, uh, mining helmet light. If I can see at nighttime, early game, that's going to give us a massive, massive advantage. Okay, all of these that have open books, we know already, so we can sell. Uh, no, we don't know those. Awesome. Okay, yeah, this is going to be great. I can't wait for the series. Okay, uh, let's see. Blade traps, guns, ammo. It's forged iron and more books. At the moment, we don't need the books. I just need to make sure that we can get ourselves some tools. And perhaps some food and stuff. Brewery station, that's new. Or at least I didn't use it last time, so <laughs> I don't know if that's perhaps a new chem station. As last time we played this, we actually got the help of so many NPCs and stuff. We barely had to do anything. The NPCs could kill all our enemies for us. Blueprint station. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and level up as much as possible right now. Ooh, nerdy glasses. See, we need this, but we need 13,000 cash for the next thing. Um, let's see, let's see. I wonder if I shouldn't just now buy cobble. Because that's going to be cheap enough, only 300. And with all this cobble, we should be able to go and make ourselves some cobble blocks as soon as we have the skill point in it. Unfortunately, there's no tools over here. Yeah, I think we're not going to be able to buy the 125,000 XP. But I want to make sure we get the XP from this. XP gain, plus 10. Crafting time, minus 10. Uh, minus 10. So we want that one, so we can go and use that to level up faster. Gratitude. Since we want to go to the desert, it doesn't matter taking quests or stuff right now. And that's the only way, a real way to get a ton of XP is by taking quests. Okay, so... I'm going to explore this town and see how big it is. If there's perhaps a final stash I can see right off the bat. We do need to be careful of wolves and stuff, and then... Unfortunately, we can't see whether a bird's nest has been looted or not. I think some of these have some really easy secret stashes to grab. But I won't really be able to grab it right now. What I should probably be doing is also running around and grabbing all of these. Damn. Oh, 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 hello. Another pig over here. I need to kill that pig. That's more meat for us. There's a little bit of lag. I can feel the stutter, but I think it might be the screen thing I mentioned earlier. I don't think it's the mod. I think it's more to do with the fact that my... PC just can't handle the strain of the screen. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. We'll be able to skin more meat from this. Someone tested, guys, and I don't know if it's mod specific, but apparently power attacks do not yield different results. Hello, zombie. I uh, whether you do power uh, doing a power attacks or left clicks, it doesn't matter when you get meat and stuff. Uh, I can't remember which YouTuber it was, but someone actually tested it and found that he gets the same amount of resources no matter what. Hello, 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 hello. Remember guys, this thing actually attacks slow, so you have to step into it when you attack a zombie. And I think the aggro, I can't remember. You'll see now, yep, the aggro. You be careful of that speed up when they get mad. Okay, this is a very small town. I don't think it's going to be worth it. I know there are final stashes. I need to be careful of wolves as well. Oh, you know what? Uh, I haven't done something yet that I usually do right off the bat. We need to make ourselves a ton of frames. If I can make myself about 10 frames for now, that's going to help us just get uh, just stack up and away from any threats. Also, we have to make all of this stuff to get the quests done as well. So, craft, craft, craft. Shoes, craft. And then wear them. Needle and thread, get ready for winter, flannel shirts, ranger's guide, no fancy craft, flaming arrows and flaming bolts, awesome. Spear hunter, do 10% more damage with spears. I wonder if you still throw the spear if you use it. Ranger's guide, craft exploding, oh yes. 
exploding balls this early on. Did I just finish the class for Hunter and stuff? That was insanely fast. Damn. Okay, and then we have to wear these glasses for the XP kills. There we have that. Thank you. Now we have to make a primitive bow. Uh, we have to make a shovel, a pick, a hammer, a stone sledge, although we have one already. I want to make sure we go through all these quests fast. All those yellow markers are quests that you can do. It's not mandatory quests, but you can get some XP and stuff for them, so why not? I wonder, where's the final stash again? It's in one of these rooms over here. I think it might actually be upstairs over there. Um, see, if it's easy enough to get the final stashes, we should probably do it. And then we can go to the desert biome in peace, knowing that we have everything we need for whatever we need. I can't remember if there's any special uh, zombies in this game. I know, I think it was Apocalypse Now that had the graces, right? It's going to suck if it was this one, and all of a sudden I just see a, a monster or something attack me, and I wasn't ready for it. Okay, now this place over here actually has workstations, and uh, we're going to skip this for now. Let's go straight towards the desert. I mean, for the series I'm intending to do, a cowboy kind of thing, this place might work, but it's too small. I need a proper, proper city that I can live in. So it's going to be like a futuristic cowboy thing. <laughs> okay, we are a little bit encumbered. We need to be careful of that. We should have some skill points to spend. So let's just go into the safety of the trade over here. And then we'll go and see if we can invest some points. Make sure nothing can attack us while we're over here. Okay, so I need to make that still, that still, that still. And then bandages and stuff. Ooh, we can already make the scrap tools. Okay, scrap pickaxe is going to come in handy. Oh, we need to invest in that. We need to invest in that. Why is this off the screen? Is that supposed to be off the screen? I don't think so, right? Okay, so we need tool crafting. Um, scrap tools. Now we can't see what we need to unlock this because it's off the screen over here for some reason. Is my game bugged? Is, I don't think it's supposed to be like that, right? Now it's fine. Okay, cool. The, the way it opened it up just now made it uh, look like that. Okay, play level 20. See, if we... Oh, 15 skill points already. Damn. If I can just focus... Okay, I think there's some class-specific or extra skills you can get over here. No, that's for the classes itself. I need to make sure pack is all the way up. And I need to make sure my stamina is all the way up. But I do want to level up as soon as possible as well. Mortar and workstation, forge cement mixing stations. I need to be a certain level right now. So if I could do a quest or two in this town for the traders. Okay, what's this? Wheeled stone, scrap iron tools. And then this one is actually to be able to go and unlock it. But to be able to unlock this, we need to be play level 20. So I wonder if I shouldn't do one quest for this trader. So I can just go and accept the 115,000 uh, 115, XP. Although if we go to the desert right now, it's 2 o'clock. We should be able to make it. If we go to the desert right now and perhaps find another trader there, we can accept quests from that trader. It's just a shame because this lady over here... Although it's, it's way too late now, guys. We don't have enough cash. 5,000. We need 13... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get, you get coin for completing these quests. Um, Let me just see. It's progression over here. All these are progression uh, things. Food progression, gun progression, class. Kill any animal. I need to kill more animals. Zombies using wooden club. See, there's, first, uh, there's certain special quests that you have to do in a certain way, and then you can actually get the stuff done fast. Um, Okay, that is a stone hammer. Stone sledgehammer is way weaker. The stone hammer I might actually be able to kill a zombie with. But this is a repair tool. Manual damage 9.3. And a damage 13. Remember that there, that's the stats were completely wrong. So this one's for repairs. This one's for attacking, but we already have one. We can do this. This oh, that was lag just now. We can put it over there. So stone, stone. Then we have a gun, a gun, melee. I don't want to use a sledge because it uses too much uh, stamina. So we can do this. I want to make sure we have some space to work with as well. The shovel we can put all the way over there, but it's a stone shovel. The moment we can make ourselves some scrap tools, the better. Guys, this series I can already tell is going to be great. I can tell already it's going to be great. Okay, how many frames do I have to make? Jeez. It doesn't specify, so I don't know how, how much I must craft to make sure that this quest is done. That, that yellow marker must disappear for us to make sure that it's actually working. 
But yeah, so for now, we are going to go to the desert biome then. And we're going to see if we can't find ourselves a town there. We need to be careful though, there might be wolves and stuff. I want to go and do this. I should probably see if I can't find more of those pillars on the way there and just destroy them. Uh, meat, kill animals, we need to do this anyways. There you go. That was a very nice shot, actually. It led straight into the bullet. Unfortunately, now we are out of 7.62 ammo for now. So, this was the last animal I could kill just now. At least we are getting a nice amount of meat right now, so that's going to help us with food in the desert. Is this craft padded? Padded is clo uh, cloth, right? Cloth armor. Yeah, we need some cloth right now. What I need to... Ooh, scrap shovel. So, technically, I can scrap that one. Where's that scrap shovel now? Hello? I definitely picked up a scrap shovel. Oh, there you go. Ooh, I was about to say, damn, where did it go? <laughs> if I can get myself some scrap tools early, early on, that's going to help us tremendously. Especially the pick. If we can find the pick, we can go for those um, pillars that I was talking about, the pointy pillars. Get some really awesome loot and then go from there. I want to make sure we also pick up cotton. We're going to be able to make that into cloth, although I have no idea how much cloth we're actually going to need. Or if we can actually already make cloth, it might need might need a skill. Okay, there's a dude over there. That soldier's really tough. We're going to skip to this side. Guys, these mounds are super worth um, actually breaking. Unfortunately, we don't, just don't have the tools for it right now. You can get some gold, silver, all that stuff, and nitrate, coal. You can get everything over here. You just need a proper tool to be able to break it, and unfortunately, that's the one thing we don't have right now. The moment we do, I'm going to make sure that we break every single one of those early, early on. I literally waited until almost end game in my previous series. T, roadkill. I almost waited until end game last time, uh, before I even went for one, any of these pillars. And by then, you're so far in the game that it doesn't really matter. There was no point then. I should probably see if I can't make myself some arrows, but I don't know if that's already part of the quest or not. If I can make myself a stone arrow and get a sneak shot on these animals, for example, I might be able to go and do some sneak damage and kill them. We do need to kill 10 animals, so... And also, we need to kill zombies with a club. There's actually also one where you have to kill them with, like, a bone shove, kill them with a gun, kill them with... A There's so many different quests. So you have to be careful not to run out of stamina. Ooh, look at that. Out of stamina. That's a big town over there. Ooh, I can't wait to get there. That's a very nice town over here. I'm going to keep my sleeping bag there until I get to a safe spot and I'll make a new one at this new town. I'm just afraid I pick that one up over there and then I end up dying anyways. Guys, I wish this... The only thing I can actually say that so far from this mod is... Well, so far it's epic. What I wish though is that they could go and make it so that birds' nests are and uh, the trash bags are destructible. So as soon as you loot it, it's supposed to disappear. So boom, gone. But now it's still here. So now you see it from a distance, you can't remember we've done or whether you've done it already or not, and you go for it again. This is a massive town. This is a huge, huge city. This is going to be fun. I'm just hoping there's no coyotes and stuff really, really early on. <laughs> okay, and also we need to make sure we grab as many aloe plants as possible because we're going to have to make ourselves some healing. So any type of plant right now, whether it's this for cloth, this for drinks. Uh, let's see, that's more cloth. I just saw the other cotton as well. I need to be careful not to run out of stamina, though. I need more aloe plants. At least we are going, uh, going to the desert right now. Oh, okay, so that's what they look like in the desert. I'm talking about these pillars that give you resources. I want to see on the mini-map what they look like. So in the in the, uh, in the desert, yeah, you can actually see it's different ores and stuff, different colors. I need to make sure that we get that done as soon as possible. The moment we have proper tools, I'm going to go all over the map and see if I can't just pick up every single one of those. But we need a vehicle to get back and forth. I wonder if I shouldn't live in the school over here. It's pretty big, so using it as a horde base might be a little bit tough. But it might be fun to live out of the school over here. We move in here now, so it's early, early game. And we stay in this one pure eye the whole game. I think that might be fun. Come on, stamina. I'm actually worried about the vultures, but they shouldn't dive bomb you uh, if your HP isn't low. The only thing I have to really worry about now is the coyotes, because they can attack you like any wolf or any dog. The moment I get a, uh, an iron tool, I'm going to go for these things. The amount of resources we can get is insane. Oh, 
But okay, these bunnies are huge. The moment I thought I was a coyote coming to me. What is that? Is that a special kind of ore that you can only find in this biome? I actually want to see what other buildings there are in this town before we decide on the school. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, before she aggroes. There you go. I need to make sure that as soon as possible we make ourselves a chest. Let's just do that now before I forget. Chest. I'm going to drop all this stuff by the school first. And then we're going to go out and explore and see what we can find. This over here is a special kind of ore, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if that's just stone, but that is a new ore. I, haven't, I didn't see that last time. Unless it was there and I just never went to the desert to see it. But guys, if we live in this schoolyard over here, this this could actually be a really this could have really good uh, potential. What I do need to do first though is see where the trader is. I want to live as close as possible to the trader, but only take that one PRI over for the rest of the game. This over here though, this is a really good place. Spiders, 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 spiders. I forgot the game of spiders. Okay, now I'm gonna have to be careful. I completely forgot that this mod, uh, this mod also had spiders. Uh, with the, no, 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 don't use stamina. That was a power attack just now. See, if I can take over a brick building like that, that'll help us tremendously. For now, though, there's a trader. I wonder if I shouldn't just leave, uh, leave the bag right here by the school. If it's in front of the school, at least we know where the bag is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, stamina. My stamina takes so long to regen. Now there's a snake over there. I'm just gonna go then and drop this right here. I'm gonna explore this place. Uh, as far as I can see, we're definitely gonna be living at the school. But it might change with time, so we'll see. Be careful of that spider. Okay, now we just dump everything we can over here. What do we need on us right now? Perhaps some drinks? We can make some more drinks over here, and we can actually also make food, which is awesome. That we can sell to the trader. What can I drop in there? This gun might actually have some ammo in, but I don't think guns spawn with ammo, unfortunately. Okay, I need to make another chest. We should have enough space now for everything over here. I also want to check whether the spears power attack, uh, stab, or throw. I'm hoping it just thrusts like the other mods. Because a spear that you throw is not worth using. Yeah, it's not worth using. You can miss so easily and lose your spear completely. Okay, uh, did that finish? Yeah, it's over here. So dump everything, grab some drinks, grab some ammo, uh, coins, why not? And then I should probably grab the healing as well. I need to make more aloe leaves because we're gonna, we need to do these quests while we're out and about. While we're having fun, we need to make sure we do all that stuff as well. I guess I'm just going to call the episode here. Next episode, we're going to go and see if we can't explore this town a bit. So far, I have really high expectations for this mod because so far, this is epic. The new buildings, the amount of loot we got in early on, we, we've all through a really amazing start right now. So if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more War of the Walkers fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.